Hi everyone, so time for another video. Um, I've had a few requests from um, inspiring networking security engineers. How do I get into the industry? What training can I do? Um, what's the best way to get hands-on experience? Um, so I just thought I'd do, spin up a quick video uh, of a few methods that um, I know. Um, there's a potential couple of prerequisites to this video that I recommend. Um, I'll put them in the top right hand corner. Um, make sure you're familiar with the new Fortinet certification system that came in in uh, the beginning of October um, this year. NSE 4567 and 8 have been replaced um, with different names uh, FCP, um, FCSS, uh, and FCX. They, they mainly contain uh, multiple exams to, to, to get the badge, let's say. Um, another recommended method is using public cloud. Um, again, I'll pop a video in the top right hand corner for that. Um, you can deploy 40 gate, you can build a, an SD1 uh, AD VPN architecture, 40 manager, analyzer, everything um, in public cloud for a relatively small cost. Um, just simply turn on the compute when you need it turn off the compute when you're not using it and you only pay for the storage. Um, there's there's a, a, a lot a fairly um, comprehensive guide on the different platforms and how to do that. Um, personally, I recommend Microsoft Azure because um, it's the cheapest and um, in the marketplace is, is the best at the minute. Anyway, leading on to this video, um, I thought I'd talk about the Fortinet developer network um and 40 demo um so i have gone to uh i'll put the domain in the bottom right hand corner but it's um fndn.fortinet.net you do need to create an account when you create an account you do need two sponsors from fortinet so you do need the email address of um two employees from fortinet that you have worked with previously in the past and can vouch for yourself you also need to be operating as a business or a partner um end users uh without companies that i believe it um don't um don't quote me on this but i believe that you you can't do that you do need to be operating as a business um and then once you've gone through that sponsorship let's say it takes a couple of days um, you'll be given access to the Fortinet Developer Network. Um, I believe you can access the Fortinet Developer Network without an account. There's certain things that you can you can do, like Flex VM, um, points consumption. Again, there's a video on that on this channel. But I want the focus of this video to be 40 demo. So you log in, go over to 40 demo, um, and you can click who can access. So NSE force have the um <clears throat> the two videos at the moment uh, this will probably change to fcp in the very near future csc stands for consulting systems engineers that's the level above system engineer um, and they've put together an sd1 and a, a, a ztna hands-on lab um nc7 or uh, fcss uh, in the new world, they have access to uh, a bunch more video, um, a bunch more dem demos, which I'll, I'll demonstrate um, the process in a minute. Uh, distributors, uh, they have more videos as well, um, just to, to call that one out. Um, so what you can do is you can go into the 40 demo section and you can see that there is specific videos for specific version 7.4. Um, there's hands-on lab. So this is what we're. This is what a lot of people are doing at the minute. Um, different videos for different things. If you look at experts summit, um, there's SD1 branch, 40 NAC, 40 link, 40 pound, 40 team, 40 proxy. Um, <clears throat> as an absolute top tip, um, if you are considering competing in the Ultimate Fabric Challenge or UFC, as it's known, hands-on labs are basically your Bible. Um, a lot of the content that I, is taken 
uh, and put into the competition comes from hands-on labs. Um, so a lot of people that I've been working with uh, as part of the FTX study group um, that have recently qualified for the global event in Vegas um, next year, uh, they absolutely hammered hands-on labs and it paid itself because they qualified um, and got free tickets to Accelerate uh, and hotel paid for as well. Um, so loads of different ones. Um, if Martin, if you're watching this video, please, please, please bring this capability back. So you used to be able to do the Fortinet Fabric Challenge uh, or uh, aspect of it, uh, but you can't do that at the minute. So let's just qu quickly cover what it is. So it's a lab environment that Fortinet provide um, for you. Consulting systems engineers and systems engineers have created the, the lab environment for you and, and what they would like you to learn. It's hosted out of Oracle or more recently GCP, so Google Cloud. You do need to be either an NSC4 or an NSC7. The Fortinet Developer Network account that you create needs to map to you your Fortinet training account so then they know that you're in any, whatever level of NSC you are. Um, and to actually <clears throat> create a lab, click uh, hands-on lab, details, launch instance. You can see that uh, this was, I was using this platform for my UFC training. Um, I have access to a bunch of them as uh, multiple NSC7. Um, so let's say that I want to do the SD1 course from experts. Um, I think it was in June this year. Um, so that's the one I want to select. Um, let Fortinet know what, why you're doing the course, what you you intend to learn. Um, set a set a time for the instance to start. So I'll just do. Um, two o'clock um you you do need to allow a minimum of half an hour i would suggest to make sure that the environment spins up properly so make sure you factor that into the time um the spin up time let's say and then you click create so i will do that now okay so when you do that after um 10 minutes or so go and grab a brew um you should get an email to your the same email address that you've you fought in that developer network account is mapped to uh, that has a set of instructions or you can simply click demos in session uh this is different um for different lab environments, sometimes you get lots of um, Fortinet devices. So you might get five, 40 gates, a font authenticator and 40 manager, whatever, whatever is relevant to the studies that you, um, you are wanting to take. So uh, I'm doing this one now. So um, if I just um, click this HTTPS, um, the username is guest and the password is Fortinet. That will take you to Forty Pock. Um, Forty Pock used to be an environment that you could run on your own infrastructure. Um, however, I believe it's gone internal only um, now. So the, the shift is more to um, hands-on labs. And as you can see, you can see a little bit about you get the network topology, um, you get all the appliances that are um relevant to the the lab that you're doing so in this case i've got 40 manager uh there's some isps i'm assuming that they're generating bgp prefixes or something we've got one simulator uh you've got uh, a vmo2 uh, a server that sits behind it a vmo2 um for a branch so this is your hub You've got two branches, you've got servers that sit behind, three branches, should say, uh, and servers that sit behind it. Um, you can uh, open a network diagram um, there, and you can also get your POC documentation. Um, at the time of this video, that's a little bit broken at the moment, but um, Fortinet are aware of it. Um, I already had the uh, the PDF document that you get sent in an email, so that is displayed here. 
And basically, uh, I don't want to show too much of the contents, but you can literally walk through the guide bit by bit. Um, so if you look at the contents here, um, it's uh, an SD1 um, based hands-on lab. So it would give me the ability to get some experience around using 40 manager, zero touch provisioning preparation, ginger templates as well, um, rapid deployment, creating and implementing security policies, zero touch provisioning of the branches, application steering, forward error correction, WAN optimization, ADVPN, um, voice duplication, packet duplication, uh, summary, and then I there is actually uh, in the newer hands-on labs um, challenges where something might be broken um, and um, you have the ability to go and fix them with your knowledge. Uh, if you can't fix them, then you are able to display um, the answer to the challenge, let's say. Um, so um, I just show, demonstrate access to one of the gates so if i access https you can see just pop that in there and i get access to the environment so uh yeah hands-on labs um absolutely utilize them um if you're an engineer that is <coughs> wanting to learn uh, you might not have money to buy kits or deploy uh, in, in virtualized environments, then um, you utilize hands-on lab. It's totally free. Fortinet put, put up the costs for the infrastructure in GCP or Oracle. Um, and they provide excellent lab guides for you to enable all sorts of various different topics. Um, there is, there's so many hands-on labs available that covers all sorts of things uh the list is endless um one thing to just call out because it's definitely the best practice um if you are finished with your session then please make sure and you finish early or you know your tea's ready or whatever um make sure that you go back into the fortinet developer network um portal and stop stop the instance um it the resources cost cost for in that money so let's not be uh, running up bills for resources that um you're not using um apart from that um as always i hope this content was useful um hopefully a lot more people are going to start using um hands-on labs um make sure that if you find a bug um contribute via the discussion forum. You'll see me and others posting in there quite frequently now. Um, and um, hit the like button. Let me know in the comments what uh, other content you would like to see. And um, subscribe if you've not already. We'll see you in the next video.